Hello, I'm Laura Cardona in the WUFT Newsroom for Friday, March 17th. Here's your News 90. People gathered on the University of Florida campus at the Architecture Atrium yesterday for UF student Caroline Alfano. Those at the memorial included UF students and faculty as well as family and friends. Caroline and her friend Nicole Sheridan died in a traffic accident last week over spring break. Attendees gathered to share emotional stories of Caroline and remember her life. In memory of Caroline's work, her unfinished projects were completed by fellow architecture students and compiled into a display. It will be exhibited at UF's Architecture Building for the rest of the year. During an Oval Office meeting today, President Trump commented that he's 100 percent behind the House Republican health bill and declared Obamacare as dead and ready to implode. The president met with 13 conservative House members known as the Republican Study Committee. Trump told reporters that all of the members have now committed to supporting the bill. He also said the House bill will spur insurance company innovations and competition that will, in his words, take care of people at all levels. However, he did say the House replacement bill would take a while before all of the provisions would kick in. 35 lucky tourists and their guides escaped on Italy's Mount Etna yesterday when the active volcano suddenly erupted right in front of them. A British news crew was rolling when it happened and captured the explosion. A popular spot for scientists, tourists and journalists, Etna is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Italian scientists say the lava flow hit a field of snow, superheating the water and causing the explosion. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.